Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we are reviewing Meguiar's Wash Plus. This product is described as a revolutionary new car wash system. The problem is not all revolutions are good things, is this. Guess that I am wrong or how We're close now I've been making my amends Come and see Where have you been off to now? Wait for me Dear beloved, lend me light As I wander off into the night So Meguiar's revolutionary wash plus shampoo and abrasives in one. Let's start with the basic. You can pick this stuff up in Halfords for 15 quid. You can order it online. It will cost you probably just in excess of 20, 22 quid with the delivery on top. And for that, you get 709 millilitres of concentrated car shampoo and abrasives in one. So abrasives in car shampoo, guys, what is that all about? That's gonna be the area of controversy that we need to delve into. If we have a look at the Meguiar's instructions on this bottle and see what they're talking about. It says, Meguiar's Car Wash Plus is a fast, easy way to wash your car. No mixing or repeat trips to the bucket for more suds. Simply apply it to your wash mitt and go. The 100% active formula removes not only dirt and grime, but also bugs, grease, light stain, and scuff marks, that's interesting, scuff marks. And since Car Wash Plus is super concentrated, a little goes a long way. Directions, shake well, any of the abrasives in, you need to give it a good shake up to mix all that. For best results, apply to a cool surface that's in the shade, so you don't want this product drying out on you. Rinse the vehicle first to, to remove loose debris, it's interesting. Thoroughly wet a microfiber wash mitt and apply a small ribbon of Car Wash Plus, working from top down, wash one section at a time, rinse rinsing immediately after washing it. Do not allow the product to dry on the surface. If it does, rewash the effective area. Rewet and reapply more product as needed. For additional cleaning, such as tough bugs and scuff marks, use a polishing action within multiple passes of the wash mitt. That's interesting. Because remember, we're in the process of cleaning the car here at this stage, so there's dirt involved as well. Car Wash Plus may also be used in a, as a bucket wash, so you can squirt some of this in a bucket. It is soapy, it will foam up, and you can load up that way. Since it is super concentrated, mix it a one fluid ounce per three gallons of water. For best results at maximum cleaning, though, apply directly to the wash mitt. So Meguiar's are encouraging you to use this in a slightly different method where you get your wash mitt, you have your wash mitt wet, you rinse the car off, to knock off most of the dirt and debris. And anyone that's do, been doing this for a while knows that a rinse will get some, but you, there will still be a lot of dirt on the panels. Then you get your mitt and you lay a ribbon of it out over the mitt and you work it, okay? So you go in and do your contact cleaning. They use the word gentle when you wipe over the panel, which is interesting. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. So that is what the basics of the product is, guys. It is an abrasive mixed in with shampoo. Now let's go on to some of the things that are interesting about this. So when I first read it, I was like, I had, I had doubts about this, I really did. I had doubts more about the way Meguiar's were, were asking you to use this product. You know, rinse off the car and then go in and do your contact cleaning with a product that has abrasives in it. And to get the most out of abrasives, you always have to work them, okay? And when it's mixed in with soap and you're using a mitt, your ability to work those abrasives is quite minimal. So the first thing I can tell you that you are, the level of kind of scrubbing that you're doing on this car with these abrasives is nowhere near even close to the level of scrubbing you do when you go over it with a clay bar, which is an abrasive product and, and strips contaminant off. You can feel the abrasives in this product. It still foams up a little bit like shampoo, but it's got that slightly chalky quality and you can see it when you rinse it away, a little bit of a slurry. So the abrasives are in there. Those abrasives really do work to clean your panel back to a squeaky finish. The 
Right, the next thing, the most important thing about this video, guys, there is a detailing fundamental principle that, that, that I always stick by, okay? And that is, whenever you're doing the contact cleaning phase of your car and there's dirt involved, you wanna be very, very careful. And you wanna take the time to get as much of that dirt off as you can. If you are making contact and wiping over your car and there's loads of dirt there, that will scratch your car. Very difficult to see unless you are in the right lighting with the right light source at the right angle and all that sort of stuff. So 99 times out of 100, when you're washing your car outside and the car's wet after you've washed it, you are never gonna see any of this. It's only if you're in Side and you pitch black it out, get the right light, and really go looking that you'll find stuff. So following on from this, there is another kind of detailing fundamental, and that is that cleaning dirt and utilizing abrasives, you know, polishing, are not two processes that you combine. Now just just stating that very obviously, when you polish a car, you know, machine polish a car or even hand polish, it's really important to get the car absolutely spotless before you do that. Now, this is a slightly different process that obviously you're using a wet shampoo and a mitt. They tell you to use gentle pressure. But the problem is to really work those abrasives, you have to work this product over the panel of your car. And the way Meguiar's are kind of telling you to do that is during the wash process when the car is still dirty. And spraying it with a little bit of water might knock off some of the dirt, but it will only knock off the big chunky stuff. You will still have, especially in the UK in our conditions now in the winter, you could still have a ton of road film on your car. And going in on that on that panel and working that dirt, even with this abrasives, in my opinion, was a bad idea. And it was the first thing I wanted to test. So my test panel out there was polished because I had a load of ceramic coatings on it from the ceramic coating video. So it was polished a while back and it's been sitting out there and it was not covered in swirls because I polished it inside and I had the right light and it was, you know, there's still marks and divots and chips in it, but it wasn't covered in wash related swirl marks. I used the Meguiar's method to clean off that panel, rinsed it off first, got all the big chunks of debris off, went in with the mitt, used it gently, wiping it side to side, rinsed it off, brought it inside, very carefully dried it, turned off all the lights, got it under a good light source, and the panel was covered in micro scratches, you know, scratches, tiny wash related scratches that I would never see if I was outside with the car. You need that intense light source, you need it at the right angle, and I've tried to film it, but the panel is covered in them. And it's from, it's not from the product itself, it's from working dirt over the surface of the panel. So that is my first problem with this particular product. Now it's not the product itself, it's just the, the method that they tell you how to use it. Um, and that's really important to say. So I had a preconceived notion before that, that trying to combine abrasives and using abrasives with cleaning was generally a bad idea. And the very simple test that I've done on my test panel kind of confirms that in my mind. Um, the Meguiar's wash mitt, I mean, it's kind of common sense. If you look at the sort of stuff that the wash mitt picks up, you know rubbing that over, over the um, surface of your car is not gonna be good. The next potential problem, or let's call it consideration, I don't wanna to be too negative here, and I'm, I'm cautious that I'm going in quite heavy handed here. The next consideration is that this product also strips protection. Um, it strips it very, very effectively actually, almost, it is almost like a strip wash when you use this. I had a freshly laid kind of wax out on just the bonnet from doing that wax application video, and I can see it strip that off really effectively. Um, now that's actually quite a cool thing that the product could strip off like that, but a lot of people might not realize it, um, and a, might, a lot of people might not necessarily want it to strip off the wax or, or the protection that you've got on your car, because really then you need to reapply it after every time you use this. Um, now that's a consideration, you know, because it can, depending on what protection you're using, it can take quite a lot, lot of time to um, reapply it. And I'm just wondering if the guys that kind of this is market, marketed at, that going to Halfords and they're looking for a shampoo and they see Wash Plus, you know, and they see cleans tough dirt, polishes away light scratches. 
I wonder if a lot of them would end up buying this, not realising it will actually strip away protection to quite a lot. Um, so I almost think it would be responsible or nice of Maguire's to kind of point that out. Because um, not a lot of people, or I think a lot of people, won't realise that when they buy it. Um, now let's, let's talk about some positives as well as negatives. One thing this shampoo does very well is it does scrub the surface of the car, okay? It's not going to correct swirls. To work abrasives, to correct paintwork and, and these very thin swirl scratches, even doing it by hand is very, very difficult. You'd be working those abrasives on one area for, for God knows how long. The way you work this particular product with a soft wash mitt, you are not going to be correcting or improving your paintwork, in my opinion. What you are going to be doing by doing that is potentially cleaning it a lot more, you know, than a normal non-abrasive shampoo. So it delivers on that particular, it delivers on that particular feature. This is a very effective cleaner because of those abrasives. The product is also really, really good for cleaning the glass on your car. So glass can get quite filmy and horrible and be difficult to clean with, with um, glass cleaners. And some glass cleaners, you get this glass polish that you know contain abrasives as well as the kind of cleaning solvents and stuff. Sometimes you can need to use those on glass. This stuff cleans up glass brilliantly because of that, that extra aggression you get from the abrasives. You do need to be careful when you're rinsing. Obviously, when you've put the product on the side of the car and you rinse it off the panel you can see it but when you're using the product on the glass and the top and the roof of the car a lot of that sort of soapy and abrasive mixture will run off into the sort of water runoff areas and the scuttle and this product you need to make sure you get it all off a little bit more than normal shampoos because of the because that abrasive's mixed in there so make sure you chase it all out and get all the scuttle and runoff areas properly rinsed out when you use this to wash your entire car um, what are the other positives? Some of the things that Maguire's say about the product are true in terms of, you know, cleaning tough dirt, polishes away light scuffs. I don't think that is particularly true, guys. Sorry, in my opinion. Removing bug and tar a little bit more. So this product is almost like a slight light decontamination wash because of those abrasives and that's really cool because there's nothing like that on the market and it's nice when a company try and innovate and give you something that's completely different so even though I've raised a few problems with this there are some cool things about it so Meguiar's wash plus for me guys it's definitely innovative it's definitely quite clever it's definitely brave but I feel it's more of a niche product with a specific use than a new revolutionary method for washing cars. Um, I hope I haven't been too harsh on it because I like it when companies innovate and do stuff that's different. If Meguiar's had just released another shampoo, you know, that was telling me it was going to super clean my car and, um, you know, get it all nice and shiny, I would've, wouldn't have been interested. I'm interested in this product because of the fact they've innovated. So good luck to them and well done for doing it. Um, and some people will like this, but it's not, I don't think it's going to take the kind of, I don't think it's going to revolutionise the car washing process. Um, although there will be some people that find this stuff very, very handy for certain scenarios when you want to clean a little bit more aggressively and do a little bit of decontamination during that cleaning, um, potentially, or stripping product. Thank you very much for watching the Forensics Detailing channel guys. Let me know in the comments of this video if you've used this stuff or you're thinking of what your thoughts on it are. Um, I'd be interested to know. I think it's going to split opinion this one. Um, clever in, in some ways but it's just like I've said many times it's about how you go about using this product that I've got a little bit of a concern with. The product itself is actually quite handy. So um, stay tuned to the channel guys for more product reviews and stuff like that. We're going to be churning them out. Subscribe if you've not already done so and uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon on the Forensics Detailing channel. Bye for now.
ever say when 